Would I buy the manga? Welcome to a new series on this channel where I look at manga covers for the first time ever. Now, I want to make this clear before we start. Let me do some damage control, all right? Before y'all come for me with, with shibs, I am strictly basing this off of how I feel about the cover itself. That would determine if I want to buy it or not. Meaning, if I see a cover like this and I say no, I'm not saying no based off of the masterpiece that's within it. I'm saying no based off of the cover itself. Now, do I like like this cover yes of course I do I'm just giving you an example all right enough of the explanation bullshit I'm sick of explaining myself but that's what you got to do nowadays let's begin starting with our absolute favorite MC of all time Kagurabachi himself I'm loving the reds I'm loving the highlight of the red in his eye with the cum stain on his face looks very edgy I'm loving the detail on these bubbles it really makes it bubbly i'm liking this fish that looks like uh looks like an inflated cock this is a really good cover honestly i'd pick this up definitely 100 percent yes next up we got code geass an anime that i just finished on patreon you can get it on patreon exclusively i'm gonna be honest with you guys code geass i watched it all i actually love it more than death note especially lelouch lelouch is god I love him. But, I'm not gonna lie, this cover doesn't do much for me. He looks like he'd touch me, and I, I don't like that. Code Geass, your anime gets 100% yes, but the manga, if I knew nothing about manga, I knew nothing about Code Geass, and I was just buying based off of the art, no, I wouldn't get it. 100%. Yes. Come on. First of all, I should have said this in the Kagurabachi manga cover. Scar on the face is already a plus five. It tells me this person has been through shit. I don't want a perfect character that's been handed everything in life that's never been hurt. That's fucking boring. I want a scar on the face. I want a character to have PTSD, to have been beaten alive when he was a child. One thing I really love about the Vagabond art that I've seen is the hair. I don't know what it is, but this author, Takehiko Inoue, in Inoue, I actually want to put my fingers through it and play with it. And I'm straight, but I still want to do it. I'm gonna be honest with you, 100% no. The picture gets even better the more you look at it. That's fucking dog man. Who's next to him? Oh, they had his black counterpart? I'm all about diversity. As a One Punch Man fan, yes, I'd 100% get this. But if I'm getting it off of the cover alone, no. This just isn't for me. Wishing you a lovely Xmas. First of all, I think the word Xmas is cringe. Just say Christmas or say holidays. Don't be a fucking cornball. Saitama. <laughs> it's a fun cover, but I don't like fun. I like depression. So no, I'm not. I'm not getting it. Wow. Oh shit. This is actually surprising to me. I did not think my hero had this good art style. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it would have like a corny art style, like something like Paw Patrol, but this is actually incredible. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'd be afraid to pick this book up. I feel like if I picked this up, everything around me would turn black, and then this thing would appear right in front of me, scared a living shit out of me. No fucking way, stay away from me. Never was I into horror growing up as a kid. I'm not into it now. I am a pussy, and I'm, I'm proud to admit that, nah. I'm not get away get the fuck off my screen get okay that that that's 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 different if I was single yes but now that I'm taken yes why you may ask I, I like the letter seven okay oh yes fuck yes oh look the number seven again yep I love it even the title is awesome Tokyo ghoul I love Japan I love Tokyo I love ghosts. I love ghouls. I love the color red. What a unique art style, bro. 100%. I don't know what this is. And I don't care to know what it is. If I'm picking this book up, first of all, I wouldn't pick it up. But if I were to pick it up in a store, what is it? This is the kind of book I see when I was a kid. And I'd be bored, bro. I want to see pictures. I want to see blood. I don't need blood in action, all right? I mean, just look at the Vagabond picture. There's no blood. There's no action on it. Yet, I loved it. Then you go to this one, and it's just... I need to know the context to want it. And this isn't based off of context. This is based off art alone, the cover alone. This is too artsy for me. And I'm a rapper, so I know nothing about art. Here we go. Captain Harlock, Space Pirate. Seven. Okay, now that's a main character. He has a skull on his torso. He has two belts on because one isn't enough to hold his giant cock. His hair is flowy. He has a... Is that like... What the fuck is this? Is that like an ostrich head? Would I get this if the word space pirate wasn't in the title? No, I wouldn't. 
But the fact that it says space pirate, that hooks me. No pun intended to, to being a pirate. Yeah, I'd get this. You know, the, the title is part of the manga cover. So, it's part of the cover. So, of course, I'd get it. Now, I mean, I'm the furthest thing from sexist. But this is a little girly to me. This is just too flowery for me. There's too many flowers. And I, I'm, I'm not a flower. So, nah. Here we go. Alright. We're getting into anime leg territory. And ass and titty territory. And furry territory. Let's say I've never heard of One Piece. This is the first cover I've ever seen. I walk into a manga store. This is staring at me. Would I get it? And I'm gonna give you the right answer. Yes. I would get it. And let me tell you why. This guy is half lion, half or leopard. It's same shit, bro. They're all fucking pussies. Half man. That's cool enough as it is. You have cannons in the back with, with a with a sail. You have a character that has smoke out of his body, bleeding, looking like he's in the midst of action, fighting a fucking zoo animal. And then you have like this MILF right in the middle. Yes. This picture does it all for me. This is interesting. This is a world. I feel like I'm looking at a world of Fast opportunities and versatility and diversity. I want it. I want it now. Look, my mouse even wants it. Look where it is. Oh. 100 million percent no. I'm joking. Yes. Yes. God damn it. Come on. JJK manga art style is, I think, my favorite art style. Uh, until I see other manga covers. Right now, JJK has my favorite art style. It's so dark and grim and and evil and fucking devilish. And then looking at this one, this is it. Man, I'm taking 10 copies of this if I saw this. He looks like he can't stop masturbating, so he's trying to stop his hand, but his hand has a mind of his own. I've completed Black Clover. It's on my Patreon, Patreon exclusive. Um, no, this cover doesn't do much for me. Maybe because it's volume 29, it's established. They're showing characters on here that have stories that the readers know about. This is more for the readers that have followed all the way through, but if I'm buying it based off of this one volume, nah, it's not really doing much for me. You know, as um, the occasional satanic devilish thoughts that I have, I feel like this is a little too edgy for me. If I was looking at this, I'd be mostly concerned about her because everybody else is edgy and looks like they wanna perform a satanic triangle with me, but then she's just smiling, so she's the real devil. Nah, this isn't really doing it for me, not gonna lie. Nah, honestly, I'd see this bunny and I'd say no. I'm not just saying that because y'all know furries are just on my homicide list. You know what? I'm sitting here thinking about it. Yeah. No, I would actually get it. There's so much history in this picture without even knowing about it. You have a clown that looks menacing. You have this big, fat, black beard. Let's see. If I didn't put beard in that sentence, it could have sounded awful. The main character with a scar on his torso with white all over him wearing fucking sandals. Remember when you went to the beach looking like this? I like how simple this one is. It's the main character facing us, looking directly into our souls, telling us everything you need to know. He looks like he's about to fuck me up. I like when I look at something and it looks like it could fucking rip my soul out. So definitely. It's funny because I'm watching Solo Leveling right now, and the character is nothing like this. He's actually the exact opposite of this. So thanks for the spoilers, bro. Sakamoto Dave. All right, this is awesome. This is really awesome and very gory. I love my gore when it's not corny. I hate movies that use excessive blood, excessive gore. It's very corny. Gore is an art. You should know where to place it. And I feel like they know where to place it here. It kind of splatters on the front, but it's in the right places. It's where it belongs. She's in like this veil. I don't even know what this is. Is it a chainsaw? But she's treating it like a fucking DJ. This has the right amount of gore that I want. Sakamoto days, you get a yes. I wouldn't know what this is about. It doesn't do much for me. I don't like the head. The head's very small to me. Kind of disturbing. Sakamoto days got me with this one, but with this one, I'm not sure. Looking at it more and more, I'm connecting with it a little bit more. You know what? Yeah, I'd actually do it. What if I said yeah? I'm not afraid to be myself. You'll notice later on in this video, if I see something similar and I say yes, I'm not gonna be afraid to say yes. This is a no. It does nothing for me. What the fuck is this? Is this the name of the title? Turns out my dick was a cute girl. You ever look at your dick and you call it a cute girl? I never called my dick a cute girl, so I can't really relate. And it just reminds me of Anya. No, get the fuck off my screen. That's a no. Oh, yes. 
This is the fucking art, bro. Look at the hair, the eye, the jawline. You cut right through my, my esophagus. Very seductive, but in a dark way. Like, if someone was seducing you to the dark side. Look at that eye. With the hair hiding in front of it. Perfection. 100% yes. This is too abstract for me. Feels complicated. Anything that looks complicated to me, I usually stay away from it. Because I'm not the brightest person. Even though I'm Nicholas Light, I'm not Nicholas Bright. This doesn't really do much for me, other than the hair. The hair is really cool, you know, he's a fellow Kilua. I actually am gonna say no to this. It's just too much. It would actually stress me out. Like, looking at it just makes me anxious. Nah, holy shit. <laughs> This almost looks too good to be true, man. I'm afraid to judge it. Wow, this is beautiful. Everything about this screams Nicholas. Like, I want this shit right now. I want to fucking grab it through the screen. Yeah. Slam Dunk's art style. I think it's the Vagabond guy. It's either that or the other basketball. No, it is Slam Dunk. It is. It even looks like if the samurai played fucking basketball, man. Come on. Yeah, 100%. I love basketball. It's one of the only sports I played in my life that I like to consider myself fairly decent at for a white guy. Y'all gonna hate me for saying this. This is the first manga I've ever bought. I have it literally somewhere over there. Would I get it based off of this cover? No. Would I get it based on the Bible cover? 100%. Because it reminds me of a Bible, but you know it's dark with the look of it, the red, and then you open it and every page is a fucking masterpiece because Miora is God. I will literally buy the Bible version, just not, not this one. So I'm going to say no on this version. Mm. Okay, I didn't even know this was a cover. This is volume 12. Yeah, like this, no. But this, yes, this gives me like spawn vibes. Look how fucking detailed this is, man. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Yeah, this looks like a metal cover and I'm all about metal and heavy rock and screamo. Count me in this shit. And then you have Boruto. Um, no, this cover of Boruto, no. I don't know what's going on in it. I mean, it's cool that his arm transforms, so he's trans. I don't really like the Boruto font. Like, it's too... It's too childish to me. I can't wait to watch the anime, though, bro. Woo! Oh, shit, Baka, man. Wow. Oh, now this is a cover, man. This is the simplicity that I love. The, norm the normal that I love. This is just normal, but it has this style to it unlike anything else we saw today definitely yes yes definitely and i know what you're thinking it's because of the thighs and the ass i love everything about this picture black clover it has this evil font to it you have the the moon in the background the style of the sky and the trees and the the the, the bark on the tree everything about this is dark the strands of hair the fucking bird. Wait, that's her. She's holding herself? Wish I could hold her. Um, yeah. 100%. No. No. No! Miora, I fucking love you. You know, I'm not a religious person at all. But there's very few people in this world, whether they're with us now or not, that make me believe there is a god. And Miora is one of them. Look at this. Do I even have to say anything, man? Come on. I think this is the best cover from today. I'm gonna say it. Today, this is my favorite cover. Look at the line in the back and the fur. Oh my god, dude. Um, um, I gotta turn it off before I come. Wow. Oh, shit. Now this is fucking art, man. If this is the style of the manga, of the of the panels inside of it, that's insane. Yes, definite yes. Listen, man, I have nothing against Tokyo Revengers, and I really admire this style, but this is just too much for my eyes. I actually have a headache. Oh, God. You see what I mean? We go from that other shit to this. You see what I mean about this author? God damn, Morata. Man, just look at that fucking fingers. Look at the wrinkles. Look at the head. Look at everything. Look at everything. Look at Sait uh, Saitama looks pretty cool. He looks alright. It's so funny how the author could go from that to this. Definitely. You know what? It would make me go back to the other one and get it. I don't know, man. 
I really don't know. I mean, she makes me feel like I'm not alone in the world with my eight head. And that's always nice to know I'm not alone. Nothing about her really draws me in, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna say no. This looks like you're stepping into an art gallery and you don't know what you're about to witness, but you know it's from someone that's important and that sells art for millions and millions of dollars. Yeah, this is it. But why does he have cum all over him? Too much going on in this one. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. I see uh, an elf holding a stick. Angels. Nah, I wouldn't even want to know what's going on in this picture. So that's a no for me. Bastard. Holy shit, bro. I feel like horns are about to come out of me. I feel like I'm about to become doomsday. Jesus, man. This is the most metal and evil cover we have seen today there's even a fucking sword is the letter t oh count me in a hundred percent i want to buy a sword right now and chop my fucking hand off how does togashi go from from this to this I don't know, but I love him so much for it. I'm gonna say yeah, and not only because Hunter Hunter to me is probably the greatest world of any anime I've ever watched. Not my favorite anime, but as far as worlds go, I feel like it has the deepest, most interesting world of all. Though One Piece is coming close. I just want to know what this is about. It has me eager. It has me interested. Like, I want to grab this shit already. All right, I like all the kids on the cover. What do I mean by that? I mean, it looks interesting. You have a, fuck. People are gonna start calling me Orochimaru now. The fact that all of these kids are in this live, bro, am I gonna be able to finish this sentence? The fact that all of these children are in this, why did I think children sounded better than kids? The fact that all of these young, no, that, that sounds even worse. Fuck. The fact that all of these kids are in this giant library just fills me with... Fills me? It just makes me curious what this is about. And I'm loving the detail on the books. This little bastard makes me very, um, homicidal. It looks like an interesting story, all right? I'm not a predator, I promise. I'd say yes. Definite yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is cool. We need some coolness in our lives to get away from the pussy pansy Twitter bullshit. I need something to fill my veins with hatred. I need something that makes me want to take these Twitter cancelers constantly crying and bitching and moaning. I need something that makes me take my aggression out on them with. Yeah, Doro Hedoro. Six. Six is the devil's number. Give it to me. And that's gonna be it for the first... What am I gonna call this video? Would I buy this manga based off of its cover? I'll probably rename it something more clickbaity. If you guys want me to do another one of these, because this is very different, I want to try different things, new things, experiment on my channel this year, especially this year. I don't want to dig myself into a hole with a certain genre of content. I want to try different things. I want to expand. I want to grow. So if you want to see a part two of this, you want me to do covers for a specific anime, or maybe your favorite covers like I did this time and I just do a part two version of this because there's thousands and thousands and millions of covers out there. Let me know down below. If the interest is there, I'll do it again. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. What is your favorite manga cover of all time? Let me know down below. And if this series does well, I'll make the next video even bigger by buying all of the manga covers that I say I like. All right, y'all. That's it. I'm out. Data bio. Sayonara.